Welcome to Technology Man, and we are finally in to version 3.9.1 and ready to check out Invictus Launch and Fleet Week. Uh, we're just going to set our settings here because we did a user folder deletion, which typically foobars your your settings uh, so we do a couple of things here if you want to use the Logitech uh, Extreme 3D Pro uh, is what's shown on this diagram here uh, that's the joystick that I have uh, you can set that slider to control your speed simply by going to flight movement and uh, speed limit absolute and then set your slider uh, you'll also need to go to the Logitech software and you need to flip that, that throttle so you need to invert the axis there all right so that should do it uh, we'll also turn off the hints and here we are now we are looks like we're in default armor so let's see if we can fix that this wasn't working previously so hopefully this is working now and it looks like it is excellent okay so I've lost my undersuit and my helmet and my armor Great, so that's not particularly good because there are pledge purchases and they haven't come through. Anyway, uh, we have a marker on screen here for some reason. As you can see just there, that seems to be indicating to some destination. Uh, so this is like day one really uh, it looks like we've gone back to a full reset that happens with the alpha sometimes um, it's to be expected as they you know fix things in the world and with the back-end servers there is a persistence fix in this release uh, ironically which is supposed to fix the in-world persistence of your inventory and uh, EUC etc so um, a little bit ironic that that fix has wiped my inventory. Regardless, here we are in uh, Lawville, in the beautiful Lawville sewer stacks, <laughs> spewing out garbage. Uh, so let's head and see just how well this patch is working. Uh, so we're going to head to the spaceport here because we need to head over to area 18 for the exhibition and we will just uh, this is real time by the way uh, I've just got the run uh, the sprint uh, toggle uh, you'll see that I'll sit in the settings there so one thing I do recommend is you do turn sprint toggle on so then you just need to tap the shift key and your you're in sprint. Um, you don't have to hold it down. Uh, okay, 14 seconds. That's not too bad. We'll go in here and sit down. We'll stand. We'll stand. Let's stand. Uh, we need to do something about this armor. We're looking very plain right now. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to do about that, but we'll look into that later on. There's the spaceport. Thank you. 
Here we are. Tisa Spaceport. So we'll head out. And we'll go get a ship. We don't want to go to CBD. We want to go this way. I'm getting there. One of the tips I have for finding the hangars uh, is look for orange. Normally, see all the orange light and orange paint here? Normally, the orange means you are near where you can go and get your ships from. So that's that's one uh, one tip that I've sort of observed as I've been playing. Uh, we have one ship. Interesting. Very interesting. So we may have to do a character reset for it to pick up... Uh, hang on, nine. For it to pick up the stuff that I've purchased from the pledge store. Uh, it's quite possible that that's what's going on here. Uh, that should then uh, recopy in all of my assets. Uh, so typically with these kinds of issues, most of the time it only affects stuff that you've purchased in-world. Um, but as you see, it can affect stuff that you have bought on the pledge store. But let's go. We'll, we'll head to the exhibition for now. Uh, you know, nine, was it? <laughs> this is like a typical thing that happens in Star Citizen. You walk to the lift and forget which hangar you're in. But Hangar 9 was it. Good. Alright, so this is a ship that I don't own. <laughs> I don't know why I've got it. Um, <clears throat> possibly it's a subscribe ship. Um, and that's the only ship that I have. And hopefully it lets me open it. There we go. Alright, so let's, let's get up in here. Head into the cockpit. And let's head over to Area 18 for the Invictus launch and flight week. Excellent. Let's get some comms. Get clearance to take off. Which you need, as you can see, the hangar doors are opening. If you don't get clearance for takeoff, those hangar doors just will not open. Alright, and off we go. So the key here is we get to around 10,000 feet. Uh, we'll just set some cruise control there. And we'll set our route to area 18. Which is on Art Corp. Alright, there's Art Corp. Set our route. Um, so the current fuel is 583, we need 224 to get there, that's plenty of fuel. We'll set our quantum drive on, it was already on, we'll spool it up again. And there's our destination there. And off we go. by Hurston. There she goes, disappearing in the background. We'll disappear even quicker as we kick into the next phase of quantum travel. Now, this is a good little ship, the Aegis Avenger. Uh, I'll happily keep it, but not in lieu of my Constellation Phoenix and my Reliant Core. Um, so there we are in the cockpit. And off we go to Art Corp and Area 18.
quantum travel. And touchdown. Engines off. <coughs> All right, let's go to the expo. So flight week or fleet week, sorry, is um, it's a week typically where they make all of the manufacturers' planes, uh, ships ready to or available to fly uh, you can usually rent them for free for the day and fly them around see what they're like and then you can decide what whether you want to buy it or not all right so we head up to the uh, spaceport main foyer our ship is somewhere over there somewhere there it is All right, as you can see, launch week. It's all quite, uh, it's a big event. As you can see with all the signs everywhere. Looks pretty cool. Let's head to Bevic Center, which is the, uh, where the exhibition is held. This is the main room here. Hey guys, how you going? Uh, you know, just uh, doing a bit of a recording for my channel and thought I'd come and check out the expo. You guys been in yet? Yeah, absolutely. Alright guys, well, take it easy, I'm going to head into the expo and uh, yeah, see if I can uh, fly some pretty ships around. Take it easy. Thanks dude. Thanks man. <laughs> take it easy. So that's uh, one of the cool things about this game is you do have the, uh, the social interaction, that's some proximity chat, so you tap your push to talk and you can talk quickly and well. Hopefully we're on the right, the right tram. So Arcorp is a really cool place. It's uh, as those guys were saying, it is very cyberpunkish, very sort of uh, Blade Runner. Uh, it's it's a futuristic metropolis planet. This is Bevic Exhibition Center. And here we are at the exhibition. The tickets, well, I mean, I don't think you need tickets, honestly. But let's try. Here we are, Invictus Launch Week. So if you've seen my live stream earlier, 
You would have seen some of this. This was available in PTU, just this area here. Uh, and now that we're actually in the world, let's grab an Invictus T-shirt. Oh, let's turn our torch off. Let's confirm that purchase. Okay, so let's head in and see what else we've got. Check out an Invictus week. We'll head up. Check out some of the exhibitions. We've got some nice models here. Of, let's slow down our walk a little bit. And we've got here. That's a nice jacket. Invictus launch week jacket. Let's get one, why not? How much is that? 820, yeah, that's not too bad. Alright, excellent. What else we got here? Here. Uh, this is all set up for maybe Invictus launch week. As you can see here. So, here you go. What is Launch Week? So, the UEE uses Invictus Launch Week as an opportunity to not only congratulate those graduating class of Starmen and Pilots, but also celebrate this newest group of recruits gathering to set off for training. All over the Empire, sons, daughters, partners, brothers and sisters say goodbye to their loved ones before embarking to MacArthur to start their journey in life. The adventure of service in the UEE military. During this time, naval vessels dock around the Empire and let the populace see these brave defenders in awe-inspiring ships up close. Invictus is also a wonderful opportunity for the community to come together with local governments, businesses and law enforcement to talk about country security and outreach. So when did Invictus start? This may come as a surprise, but Invictus actually goes back several centuries to the days when the New Year was known as the United Planets of Earth. Shortly after the first Tavarian War began in 2541, humanity suddenly found itself in need of an organised military force at a size previously unhindered. To this point, aside from the hostage situation with the Xi'an in 2530, there had only been local security forces under the control of the central human government. With humanity facing an imminent and overwhelming threat, a fleet needed to be raised and trained quickly. Tribunal set out an immediate call for recruits to create this army. Transport ships on each of the settled planets would load up these volunteers and travel to a training facility on Mars known as Invictus. On the morning of 2542-1012, families and communities gathered at launch pads around the UPE territories to celebrate those that were going to defend against the alien invaders. As the conflict continued, more recruits would gather on that day to travel to Invictus to begin their training. Over the centuries, as the Empire has expanded, space travel has become even more accessible and most recruits are able to self-report. The need for Invictus Launch Weeks has diminished. The spirit of it, however, is stronger than ever. Invictus is a time to celebrate each other, to celebrate bravery, duty and commitment to the goals that define humanity at its finest. Welcome to Invictus 2950. So there you go, that's Invictus Launch Week for Star Citizen. Uh, launch week being they're bringing in the military play into the persistent universe. Okay, that was interesting. We had a bit of a glitch in there, a door or something. Okay, so now we have the ship hall uh, and the vehicle hall. So we'll head to the, the ship hall. As you can see, we have RSI, Robert Space Industries, and Origin showing off their wares this week. Now, I believe every week or every two days, uh, either one of those two, I'll confirm for you later on. Uh, they have a new manufacturer on display. So this is the ship hall. As you can see, there are a number of ships on display, and you can basically you can you can have a look at them. You can go into them. You can uh, even rent them. So we'll head on down into the main hall and see what goodies we have in store for us. Now this, I believe, is a three two five A. As you can see, you can rent that, and it costs zero to rent it, so, I mean, this could be fun just to rent a bunch of ships. Let's have a go. Purchase a plate. 
be delivered to you on person. So that means it should come up in here. Uh, there it is, the Origin 325A. Let's get going and see what else is around. What have we got in here? Uh, we've got some holograms of some ships here. Some of the larger ones. Look at this beast of a ship right here. This looks pretty nice. Constellation Taurus. Uh, now I have a Constellation Phoenix. Uh, so this is a this is a new version of it, I believe. With a few upgrades and, and a few new features. Very cool. And we should be able to. Can we click on that to rent it? No, we can't. That's cool. Let's head back up here to the real ships. So we have a look at the 325A, we've seen that one, and here is the Constellation Phoenix, I believe. Uh, I have one of these, even though it's not showing up in my inventory right now. It's an awesome ship. Uh, it has this elevator that goes straight up to behind the cockpit just there, and then you've got, got the cockpit right there in the middle. Oh, right at the front, sorry. Uh, and then you've got a couple of beds, and then you've got a nice big cargo bay here, and that cargo bay opens up. You can drive your vehicles into it, and there's a, there's a larger lift, very similar to this. Uh, so that goes up, takes you up inside. I won't spend any more time on that because I have one of those and we can have a look at those anytime. This is also a constellation, probably a slight variation on the Phoenix. Uh, it's got a more open turret here. This is probably the more militarized version. Uh, and this looks like that hologram we were just looking at. Uh, Aquilia, yeah, so this is this is a nice a nice ship. We might rent one of these just to see what the difference is between uh, the Phoenix and this one. Uh, here's the Aurora. This is a pretty common starter ship. It's, it's a good little ship. It's quite a few people use it. Uh, I've not flown one yet, so I might uh, grab one and give it a go. Um, that looks like about it for the RSI haul here. Uh, what's this one here? Oh, the Mantis. Yeah, this is this is a good little ship. Let's go up and have a look. Uh, I've seen previous uh, Fleet Weeks before where you can actually go into these craft and you can power them up, see what the HUD looks like, um, you know, see what it might be like to fly in or sort of, sort of you know, what room there, room there is in it. Uh, but if that doesn't look like the case here. Oh, what's this over here? I think this is a Carrick. Is this a Carrick? Oh, the Polaris. Yeah, okay. So, yes, this is a new one. This is sold out, I believe. Uh, the Polaris. I think this has been very popular. And, yeah, there are none left. Uh, anyway, so let's see what... Uh, what do we have? We've got RSI, and then we had uh, Origin, I think it was. Origin job works, yeah. So, that's Origin. That's RSI. That may be it for these two days a week. Uh, what we might do is head down to the vehicle hall. See what goodies are on down there. Okay, so we'll just uh, head on down to the vehicles. So by vehicles, they'll be talking about ground vehicles rather than ships. Um, let's have a look. 
what we've got down here today. Uh, yeah, we've got the grey cat. Oh, the cyclone. Cyclone, yep. Look at that thing down there. Look at that. Let's go down and check that out. Look at that. That is cool. Look at the tyres on that thing. Let's go inside and have a look. We're going to need our torch in here. It's a bit dark. Probably because it's powered off. Okay, so we've got a seat there. That might be... Yep. Probably support slash co-pilot. Uh, gunner. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, and then we have here uh, the driver's seat. We jump in. We should be able to power up the HUD. Power on. There we go. There's the HUDs. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like the steering wheel. Alright, let's see what else is around. Let's turn this torch off. Thank you. And we'll head out. we've got over here? Look at this thing. Oh, it's a moon buggy. That's pretty cool. Ursa Rover. Yeah, we'll read that as well. Why not? Why not? They're all free. I mean, we might as well give them a go, right? So we should be able to load one of those up into the Constellation. And then uh, head on down somewhere and take it for a spin. Oh, we've got here Cyclone AA, okay, and we've got the Cyclone RN. I like the RN actually, I think. But I think this is the militarized version, the TR, yeah. Now I think, I think I actually bought one of these. So let's, uh, let's rent it. Because for whatever reason we have no inventory at the moment. Uh, and it could just be that it's not displaying in world. But it's Probably because it's not playing really well. <clears throat> there has been a few server issues over the last few days. This is in alpha, of course. I, I say this a lot, and you know, I'm trying to be transparent. It, it is an alpha. It is it is buggy. Um, you know, it has it has its issues, but um, there's still lots of gameplay to be had. It's, it's I, I really enjoy it, and I know a lot of people that have been in it from the early days are sort of a little bit jaded by you know all of the all of the controversy and the politics and just, just the length it's taken to develop a game like this. But if you look at, <clears throat> I mean, when you render a vehicle in your HUD, you are rendering the vehicle. You're not just rendering a picture of it. And uh, that vehicle is fully interactive. Uh, hopefully it'll work, yeah. So that everything in that vehicle has been rendered there. Every little thing, you can see the guns there, everything. You can see all the pieces moving slightly as we move it. That whole thing is being is rendered, so it is. It is a pretty huge game, and uh, you know there's a lot, a lot of work in getting this much detail in. Uh, but it does lend to the realism of the world, and you know I really appreciate, I really appreciate the work that they've done to get so much detail into the world like this. All right, so we're going to head back. This looks like this is all that's here for this first part of the exhibition. Uh, obviously, you can see all these vehicles on the RSI website, uh, in the pledge store, etc. They do do best of show editions and special editions, at least, I think. There are several special edition vehicles and ships that are being la launched with uh, this version and for this launch. So, uh, yeah, definitely definitely check them out. Let's head back. We might want to go take one of these for a fly. Okay, so this is back to the main hall. Uh, we've got the Victor's t-shirt. And we... I don't think there's anything else here. Had a sneak peek of this area here in PTU. So, I won't spend a lot of time here. 
you can see here there's there's a whole bunch of you know naval displays here to really bring home the new Invictus functionality, which is the you know the naval playline storyline that uh, that is now in the persistent universe. So let's head to the spaceport and take one of these beauties for a run. Good timing. Always oh, good timing. This is Bevic. As you can see, it's a pretty cool place. This is a multifunction sensor. They use it for a lot of things. They uh, they just fit it out each time. <coughs> there it is, perfect. You can see it down there in amongst the metropolis that is Art Corp and uh, Area 18 that we're in at the moment. So this is the spaceport that we're heading into now, where we can try out some of those ships that we just rented. This is new, having these two carriages side by side. Uh, I didn't see those in 3.9. I guess maybe just add to realism or perhaps to have more frequent uh, trains going. I don't know, but uh, yeah, it, is, it does seem to be new. So this is the spaceport. As you can see, it's all geared up for Fleet Week. We came in this way earlier. Here's our console, let's retrieve the ships. And look at these. <coughs> so what do we want to take first? Should we take the... Uh, let's have a look at the constellation. This looks good. Hangar 4. Everyone remember that? Hangar 4. If I forget, tell me. Tell me in the comments below. Okay, so hangar four, I think it was. Get out there. Uh, so when you've got your, uh, actually not even when you've got your hut on, but anyway, in the world it'll uh, it'll tag your vehicles. I don't know why the anvil blisters there, probably because we got in and powered on. Uh, but you can see constellation 74 meters, so that's always a good way to know. All right, here it is. Look at this beast. This is just gorgeous. Let's just take a good look at that for a moment. Let's jump in. <laughs> Let's not mess around. Uh, we'll open that. Down she comes. This is an airlock as well, as you can see.
And as you enter a ship, you will get the, uh, the local channel open up. Uh, it's very dark in here now. We should be able to head this way. Yep, there we go. Let's get a power on. And then we'll get some internal lighting going and we'll be able to have a look at this beauty of a ship. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of these bars across the viewing port. I do like the blue. <clears throat> Alright, so ship's powered on, interior lights are on. We've got a usual turret. That's pretty normal for this series of ship. Uh, you've got a, a toilet in here. And some storage. You've got your beds here. And the cargo bay. So we should be able to open this. And you'll see the whole cargo bay drops down like a big lift. And you can drive your vehicles into it. Uh, we'll head around the mezzanine, down to the back. And then typically at the back of these we've got... Uh, I think it's a... What is it? Like, um, it's called a marlin. Yeah, there is a bug in these. We'll... Should we, should we get in? Oh, let's do it. There's a bug in these that you get stuck in this. Yeah, there we go. We're stuck. Oh, we're out. Oh, good, they fixed that bug. Okay, good. That's 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 excellent. So there's our gravity generator, power plant, etc., etc. Head back this way. Back to the cockpit. And we'll go for a fly. Now we need to somehow spawn our ground vehicle and drive them into that elevator. So we might have a go at that. Okay, don't know why that's happening. Let's get some comms. Get some permission to take off. Right, let's take this baby out for a quick spin. We'll have a look what she looks like flying. And then I think we'll wrap up for this video. It's uh, it's a long one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do enjoy these long format videos, please let me know in the comments. If you think they should be a bit shorter, then by all means, also please let me know. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you have friends or family that you think might be interested, please share the channel with them. And I'll be sure to capture some great new content very soon. Till next time, again, I hope you enjoyed. Enjoy your time in the verse if you're able to get in and have a fly during free fly week. Remember, it is free to join and fly. So it's a great time now to, to go in and see what Star Citizen's all about. Till then. Take care.